Hey everyone, Dark Rabbrix here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Star Wars Trouble on Tatooine. This set came out in 2021, as 276 pieces, it's set number 75299, and it comes with three minifigures. And before we get into this video, if you're new here, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Alrighty, so let's get into this. Now the figures included is the Child, the Mandalorian, and a Tusken Raider. The set includes like a little hut, a ballista, and a speeder. We flip it to the back here, you can see some of the play features. Alrighty, so let's get this thing built up. So here's the set all built up, now let's take a look at the minifigures first. So the first figure I'll be taking a look at is the Mandalorian. Now this one has the Beskar armor, you can see the arm printing, it's amazing. On the side of the armor you can see the Mudhorn signet and some other gear. And on this side is the Whistling Birds. You can see he has a strap of ammunition going around his torso. He also has a dark grey cape. And if we move that cape there's some more printing on the back. Under that helmet is just a black head. So that is the Mandalorian, now let's take a look at the child. Here is the child, or Grogu, or Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call it. You can see a small amount of printing on his torso, this is one of the baby minifigures. You can also turn his head 360. Unfortunately, the legs and arms are not movable. So that is the child, now let's take a look at the Tusken Raider. Here is the Tusken Raider, he has that gappy stick and he also has that nice Tusken Raider head mold. He has that classic Tusken Raider clothing and also a strap of ammunition across his torso. And he also has some back printing as well. So that is the Tusken Raider, so let's take a look at the actual builds. So here is the Mandalorian speeder. Now there's some clips on the sides for his blaster and his disintegration rifle. There's also a ton of detailing and stuff on the sides. Now right here is a place where if you get Baby Yoda, you can put him in there and he'll stay. So that's pretty cool. There's also a backpack on this side. Now on the front there's some control sticks to the vehicle. So if we get the Mandalorian, you can sit him down. His cape is going to get a little crushed though. As you can see, he fits in perfectly. One really cool thing about the speeder is you can actually fit it inside the Razor Crest. It just slides in like that. So if I actually open the side up here, you can see it in there. So that is the Mandalorian speeder. So let's take a look at the Ballista. Here's the Ballista and it looks really cool. It looks like it actually functions, but it doesn't. It's just a spring-loaded shooter. But yeah, this is a really cool design. You can see a 2x2 two two clear brick under here supporting the thing. These feet are really just for show. You can also turn this here to act like it's actually working. Now this is actually connected on a hinge so it can go up and down if you want. Now to fire the thing, all you need to do is push down on this. So let's get the Mandalorian here. Now if you do lose that, Lego gives you an extra. These are really cool, silver spring-loaded missiles. On the front here, you can see there's like a little wheel to act like it's rolling or something. Alrighty, so let's move on to the last build, which is the Tusken Raider Hut. Here is the Tusken Raider Hut. Now, a cool feature is you can open this up just by doing that. Boom, it all folds out. And here there's a pot with a bone in it. There's a campfire out front. There is also a place where you can put the Tusken Raider's gaffy stick. You can also get the Tusken Raider and sit him down, as well as the Mandalorian. You can put him there, too. And so there's like a little dish or like a bowl or something. You can actually close this up too, which is pretty cool. So yeah, here's a 360 view of the hut. And this is actually the last build of the set. Also in the set, they give you a very generous amount of extra pieces there. Here's the instruction manual. It's pretty cool. It works just like any other instruction manual. But on the back, you can see some of the new minifigures for the new sets. Not just the minifigures, but it also shows you the actual sets too. Overall, this is a really great set. I definitely recommend picking this one up. This is a really great deal for $30. You get three great minifigures, and you get three great builds. This set is also the only way to get Best Scar Mando, and it's also the cheapest way to get the child. So thank you for watching my review of the LEGO Star Wars Trouble on Tatooine. If you guys happen to enjoy this video, if you're new here, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. What do you guys think of this set? Let me know in the comment section down below. Yeah, and with that, thank you everyone and have a wonderful day. Bye.